Hi everyone, it's Bonnie from All That Life Stuff and today I have for you the Boho Berry box. And I have been waiting for this box um, since I saw a preview of it. Sometime last month, Kara posted a preview of something that's gonna be in here that I'm so excited about. And I literally have been checking the tracking <laughs> for this box almost every day. I even checked it today. Uh, it wasn't supposed to come till tomorrow, but I checked the mailbox anyway because I was so excited about getting this box. So this is my, no, it's not my first unboxing because technically I did a subscription post and in that post I did an unboxing of the Boho Berry box. Um, but this is my own, my first exclusive just opening the Boho Berry box. Um, so if you don't get this box, I urge you to do so. If you are a planner, a bullet journaler, um, if you just love stickers and pens and all that fun stuff, um, this is the box for you. So I'm going to link the site, the Boho Berry box site down below. And then also, um, Kara herself does, um, an unboxing of the Boho Berry box herself. She actually posted this weeks ago and I have not watched it because I didn't want to spoil it for myself. So after I record my unboxing, I'm going to go watch her unboxing um, and I'm going to link hers as well because I'm sure it'll be great and she always does a good unboxing. So let's get right to it. Okay, so this always comes with a card that tells you um, the theme and then what's inside of it. I'm not gonna read what's inside of it because I wanna see it myself. Um, but the theme is Inkorimo, which I kinda knew it was gonna be Inkorimo because um, I know that Kara is very into that and then also the spoiler that she posted alluded, alluded to the fact that it was an Inkorimo. But if you don't know what Inkorimo is, um, I wanna say it's International Correspondence Writing Month. Um, because I know NaNoWriMo is National Novel Writing Month, so I'm guessing that's what it is. If that's not what it is, because uh, I'm gonna check after this video, I will post the correct <laughs> um, meaning of it uh, underneath. But if I got it right, then awesome. <laughs> so I'm not gonna read this right now. I'm just gonna jump right in. So, so there is a stencil. Um, let's see if I can put something behind this. Okay, so you can see it has, uh, so obviously Inkorimo, it's gonna be all male-based. Uh, that's kind of the theme here. So there's a little um, letter with wings. It says happy mail, snail mail, some stamps, and a little envelope, um, which is super cute. And then I guess the same stuff is here, right? So this is the um, stencil, so you can do it yourself. And then the actual, um, stickers are here, which are awesome. I love her stickers. I kind of wish she would make them a clear background, but she does it with this, um, this kind of paper that's really, um, she calls it something, I don't know what she calls it, but it's colorable, right? So if you put it in your planner, you can call it, color it with a marker or with a pen or something like that. But I just wish that they were clear just because for my uh, purposes in my planner, I like to have clear ones, but it's okay. It's a, I'll, be, I'll be okay. Don't worry about me. Um, so then these are the February ones, uh, February 2019, to do um, some stamps. This is a tracker for sending the letters. So if you want to track them every day, which I'm going to do, I am going to participate this year. I've never done it before. I don't write letters. I don't send letters. I'm very, very digital these days, but uh, I'm going to do it. I'm going to try it because I feel like it's gonna be fun, and I have all of these stickers. I got some from Pipsticks as well that are kind of this Inko Rimo flavor. So the, the, the sticker universe is telling me to do it, so I'm just gonna do it. Um, and then this is the February tracker. So this comes in every box, and I'll show you how I use it in my planner. Um, and this is kind of, I mean, you can do if, you do, if you do habit trackers, I would urge you to get this because it's just a really easy way to track without having to set everything up. Um, I mean, unless you're into that, and then that's fine. I personally, I like just having it all laid out for me because then all I have to do is decorate the page and list my things here and then I'm done. 
So I don't really like to sit and do all the boxes, do all the numbers. I don't enjoy that part. That's why I went into a happy planner because that's the part of bullet journaling that I just didn't really like. Um, I don't want to sit and draw boxes and all that stuff. I want to do stickers and just make it really easy on myself. So that's why I really love this. And actually, I, I love the look of this one too. I'm, I'm really excited she started doing themed boxes because they just feel so good and they feel cohesive and they're fun and, and I just, I really love that. And then this is an actual card. So some lucky person on my, <laughs> on my tracker is gonna be getting one of these um, because that's super cute. And now I have to get 27 more to send for the rest of the month. <laughs> and then this, this is what I knew about. This was the one that was um, spoiled in a good way. So this is some turquoise ink and I'll show you what this ink is for. I'm so excited about this. So, so, so excited. I, I really, I shared this picture too because I was so excited about it and I'm just, oh goodness. Okay, so you put your ink in here. I'm guessing you put your pen down on this and look at this beautiful pen. Are you kidding me right now? Look at this. I, I don't know if you've ever tried to use one of these pens, but oh wow, look at that. It goes all the way around. Um, I tried to use something it was more of a pointed pen, um, and I was awful, just awful at it. But let's do this. Let's give it a whirl. I'm guessing you put it down like this. And let me make sure that everything is uh, showing up here. Okay, perfect. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm guessing this is how you do it. I I'm sure, I mean, who knows, right? How, how could you get it wrong? But put, it, ooh, put a little bit of ink, okay. Do a little dip here. I don't know. I don't know if that did it. Oh, wow. Oh, that's so cool. So yeah, I'm just writing with glass now. No big deal. NBD. Um, so I don't think it does. It doesn't seem to change with how you write. So this is kind of regular and then this is really pressing down on it. So it doesn't look like you can do that kind of those up and down strokes with calligraphy. You can, oh my God, I'm seriously gonna write my, my notes with this. I'm gonna write my little, all of my Inkorimo notes with this pen because it's so pretty. And it feels, kind of, it feels very strange to write with a glass. I and mean, it feels like I'm writing with an actual like drinking glass. <laughs> I don't know, it feels very weird. I mean, it's just, it's so cool. I like, I love having these kind of like things. So I don't know if you're into this kind of thing, these pens and this, you know, these stickers, this kind of stuff. I know a lot of people who bullet journal, um, especially, and I know people have gotten kind of like antsy about the fact that this is not um, bullet journal stuff. And, and Kara has even said herself, she said, this isn't the, you're right. It's not bullet journal stuff. This is supposed to be a planner box. Um, if you're into this stuff, I mean, look at, I, I just think this is a really gorgeous um, collection of things, you know? I mean, I'm gonna use all of it. I mean, the only thing, and I'll be totally honest with you, the only thing I probably will not use that much of is a stencil just cause, and this is really just cause I haven't done a lot of stenciling, um, but who knows, maybe I will, let's see. Because maybe, Maybe I'm not a stenciler because I've just never found the right stencils. Let's see if we can combine um, some resources here. Let's try this. See, I mean, I feel like I don't even know how to use stencils. If you have a good way to use stencils, like, am I just crazy? Do I just not know how to, oh, I, that's why I went over that. But if you have any sort of tricks for stencils, let me know because I don't use them, but I mean, why not I have them? And I know they do come in the box a lot because I watched her unboxing videos and she does tend to give out a lot of stencils. And I, you know, I always wanna use stuff even if I don't know quite how. Um, so if you have any great techniques that you use, please let me know. Um, I don't know, this is just getting really weird now. Um, also, I don't have patience. So like when I get to all these like things here, that, that's going to make me insane. But let's see. Yeah, that's not, that's not doing anything for me. But you know what I've seen <laughs> is I've seen kind of like a spongy type thing and you do 
um, with some ink and then you do spongy type stuff. So I'll keep you posted if I, if I do figure out how to use a stencil like a, like a real human being. Um, and if, like I said, if you have any ways that you do it, let me know because I could use the tips, obviously. So this here is what you get from the Boho Berry Box. Um, it's $25 a month, which I know for me sounded very steep and it took me a really long time to actually subscribe to it because of the fact that I really don't like to go over $10 for my subscriptions. Um, but I love it. I just, it makes me so happy every month. And I, I this is only, to be fair, <laughs> this is only the second month I've got. No, it's the third month. But I love it. I love seeing the box in, in my uh, mailbox and I love just opening it and getting all this stuff. I'm ready to set up my next year. And again, I love doing my tracker like this and I just, I'll show you the pen that I just threw on the floor um, that came from her last box, um, which I just really love as well. And that's what I've been using in my tracker. So I just think if you're a planner, if you're using um, a bullet journal or a happy planner, I really think that you, could benefit from this and you I, I mean I love it and hopefully you love it too if you do um, subscribe to it <laughs> um, if you don't just keep watching my channel because I'll keep reviewing my box and then you can just enjoy it vicariously through me so um, that's it for today I'm going to start making my Inkorimo list because now I need 28 people to write to and I don't want to be a sad person and say I don't know 28 people <laughs> but oh let me find 28 people to send letters to. Um, but that's it. Thank you so much for joining today. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of the videos from me, you can go ahead and subscribe. Um, and I'll see you soon. Bye.